Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 introduction videos. This video is about details in manual edit of geometry and mesh. You will edit geometry connectivity, create mid surfaces, and create and edit a shell mesh. Open the HyperMesh file for breakout B. When you enter the stitch tool, surface edges are displayed color coded with respect to their connectivity status to other edges. The stitch tool offers multiple ways to connect edges, like clicking on individual edges, or selecting multiple surfaces to stitch their edges with other surfaces' edges. Most precisely, you can drag and drop points or edges onto each other to connect them. To close bigger gaps or create missing surfaces, patch slash spline offers multiple options. You can drag one edge onto another one to create a surface between them. Or select multiple edges to span a surface between them. When the respective symbol shows up at your mouse pointer, clicking again on the new surface will toggle between tangent or straight transition. Creation of mid-surfaces is preferably done on solid geometry, but works also on surfaces. Here, in one detail, the resulting mid-surface differs from the original geometry. The software tried to simplify the situation by creating a planar surface, which is not following the original shape. Edit plates can be used to support the mid-surface creation by predefining how the extraction shall be working locally. You may want to select a different coloring option, then simply select the mid-surface you want to update and assign it a new plate type. Save your proceeding as HyperMesh file. Defeature holes allows to identify and remove holes globally, but also individually by clicking on the edge of a hole. To identify holes of certain diameters by example, use Find Similar. Use General 2D Mesh to create a 5mm shell mesh on the mid-surfaces, then enter the Split tool. Interactive lets you place a cut on a surface by drag and drop, directly remeshing the surface. Under Lines, switch to Offset Lines and activate Washer Split to cut around holes for structured meshing. Edit Elements Density offers to change the element size per surface edges. Move allows to move nodes. And also to drag tria elements onto each other to remove them. The split tool has various ways to split elements, among them structured quad transitions. To close the video, a suggestion for efficient menu navigation. Create one or more custom ribbons, which you can populate with your frequently used tools, simply by drag and drop. Such ribbons can be set to floating in front, to always have your tools in direct access. This concludes the breakout video about model checks. Consider following further videos from our YouTube channel or visit learn.altired.com to choose from our broad offering of online classes and e-learning. Thanks for watching.